I live a pretty normal childhood. I go to school, I go to the mall, I learn right and wrong. But then, everything's changed. He looks at schizophrenia with fear and confusion. And this uh, both uh, caused very great stigma. The most common symptoms of schizophrenia are what we call as positive and negative symptoms. The positive symptoms are uh, like uh, hearing voices, um, like thinking somebody is after me or everyone else is talking about me. While the negative symptoms are things like uh, decreased motivation, I start hearing voices. It was not an uh, un unfamiliar voices. It's actually a characterized voices of my friends. And obviously they are not they are they are telling me to do something bad, which is very disturbing. Schizophrenic patients have a symptom called anisognosia which means that they do not understand that they have mental illness or shortly, uh, they have poor insight. The lack of insight among schizophrenic patients makes them uh, far away from medical professions and separates them from their loved ones. The symptom just got worse by the time I was in college. I just got dropped out from college because I think it was stress and then I moved somewhere else. I don't get a job, I got financially troubled. Everything just got worse in one time. It's very stressful for me. In the beginning, I start to hear one voice and then become several voices and it start to be very demeaning and sometimes they say like, I am dishonoring my family. Ultimately, the patients will have their first break, which is the first time when they start to seek medical advice. Break was at 17 years old, and since then, I've been trying to tell the people to realize that Something is not quite normal about me. After a few breaks, I literally thought that I have to handle and learn to accept it. I've been getting into so much trouble. And since then, I checked into a rehab center and I've been diagnosed as schizophrenic patient. Dealing with schizophrenic patients, one of the things that we should do firstly is to stop argue with the patients about their mental illness and start listening to their complaints. Do not tell the patient to stop listening. He was not in denial. He was not being stubborn. It was all the symptoms of his disease, which are not under his control. I had to make a very hard decision, which is to get him arrested. From my perspective, I was trying to help him. I was very angry to my family. I don't want them to know that I have the disease. I almost hate them. To some extent, that I want to injure myself. What made me to go to the first hospitalization is my suicide attempt. I overdosed my medication. I felt very alone. I felt that I left my mom and dad down. 50% of schizophrenic patients have attempted suicide. And if they don't get their treatment, they are more likely to die from suicide. Medication is the mainstay of treatment of schizophrenia. 
but medication alone is not enough in treating the patients. Very important to let your care provider know that you have the disease, that you have the problem of schizophrenia. If you hide it from, from them, they're not going to help anybody. Sharing the story is very important to me. It helps my life to get better. It helps the, it very really reinforces my recovery. It helps me to stand by myself in order to move on in this world. Very important for for schizophrenic patients to find at least one person in their life that they can trust and they can tell all their complaints and this person will bring them to the treatment when it is needed. Not to be very independent, you know, just just able to to, to need the support to, to move on in my life. You know. It is a misconception that schizophrenia is untreatable and is a deteriorating disease. Um, while the patients and many of schizophrenic patients can and should have a better and happier life with their beloved ones. My long-term goal for my son is for him to enable to take care of himself and survive. When I first heard the news, I was I feel like I was sentenced to die, but now it feels very different. You know, life has been very rewarding for me. What we can and we should do is to reduce the fear, reduce the stigma, and treat uh, schizophrenia like any other disease that we have.